friends today we are going to learn more in detail about clocks and its functions are you eager to learn come on let's go to today's video first we have to understand the relation between the units now we are to measure time we are going to convert the smaller units to bigger unit it is 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute that means if 60 seconds are completed then we can understand 1 minute is completed the next big unit is hour 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes if 60 minutes are completed then we can understand 1 1 hour is completed the next big unit is day if 24 hours are completed then we can understand one day is completed do you understand it friends 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes 1 day is equal to 24 hours this is very very important if you understand this concept then only we can able to read time now let's see the design of the analog clock in detail there are 60 marks in the clock face the second hand minute hand and hour hand helps us to read time the second hand helps us to track seconds the minute hand helps us to track minutes the hour hand helps us to track hours the time is read based on which hand is pointed at which mark Once the second hand complete one full rotation from 0 to 60 that means 60 seconds at that time the minute hand moves to the first mark it shows one minute is completed if we get second hand completes the rotation of next 60 seconds at that time the minute hand moves to the second mark that means 2 minutes are completed and so on to calculate the minutes easier we have bolder marks at every 5 minute duration that is skip counting by 5s 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 these border marks are very useful for reading the time easily and quickly okay now what if minute hand completes one full rotation if minute hand completes one full rotation it becomes 60 minutes we already know 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour in that position hour hand comes okay how do we identify a hour in a clock we have learned in our previous video that 24 hours are divided into two halves that is 12 hours before the noon and 12 hours after the noon if we divide 60 by 12 we get the whole number 5 60 divided by 12 is equal to 5 If minute hand completes one full rotation that is 60 minutes we understand one hour is completed at that time the hour hand ad- advances to the fifth mark the number 1 is written in the fifth mark to read hour if two hours are completed then the hour hand ad- advances to the tenth mark number 2 is written in the 10th mark and so on until 12 hours number 1 2 3 until 12 is written in every 5 mark interval you will understand this easily when we learn about time reading in analog clock section simply we can say in analog clock the 60 marks are used to identify the seconds and minutes The numbers 1 to 12 are used to identify the hour. Based on whether the time is before the noon or after the noon, we call it as AM or PM. 
If you are not aware of AM or PM, please check our part 1 video of clock and its functions. Friends, did you understand the marks in the clock face, seconds hand, minute hand, hour hand? Our next part is to read time. First, let's concentrate on reading the whole hours in analog clock. Before reading the time, remember friends, shorter hand is hour hand, longer hand is minute hand. In this clock, the hour hand points at 1, the minute hand points at 12. So it is exact 1 o'clock. Here the hour hand points at 11, the minute hand points at 12. So it is exact 11 o'clock. Here the hour hand points at 12. The minute hand points at 12. So it is exact 12 o'clock. The simple technique to read the whole hours is the minute hand show point at 12 and the hour hand show point at any number between 1 to 12. The hour hand which is pointing is the time. Our next step is to read the time in 30 minutes interval. In this clock, the minute hand points at 6. That means it is pointing the 30th mark which represents 30 minutes. The hour hand is pointing between 2 and 3. It shows the hour hand has crossed to 2 but did not reach 3. So we take it as 2 hour 30 minutes. In mathematical term, it is represented as 2.30. Let's see another example. Here the minute hand points at 6. That means 30 minutes. Now the hour hand points between 7 and 8. So the time is now 7 hours 30 minutes. In mathematical term, it is represented as 7.30. Next, let's read the time in 15 and 5 minutes interval. Here in this clock, the minute hand points at 3. That is the 15th mark. So, it is 15 minutes. The hour hand points between 4 and 5. So, we have to take it as 4 hour 15 minutes. In mathematical term, it is 4.15. In this example, the minute hand points at 8. That is 40th mark. So, it is 40 minutes. The hour hand points between 8 and 9, so it is 8 hours 40 minutes. In mathematical term, it is 840. Now, let's come to little tricky part, but not so hard to understand. In this example, the minute hand points the, between the numbers 1 and 2. Then how do we find the minute? It is quite simple. You have to count at which mark the minute hand is pointing. If it crosses 1, already we know 1 represents 5th mark. So after 5, it is pointing 6, 7, 8. So it is pointing 8th mark. So the minute hand shows 8 minutes. Now our hand is between 3 and 4. So the time is 3 hours 8 minutes. In mathematical term, it is 3 8. Let's see another example. The minute hand is pointing between 7 and 8. Already we know 7 represents 35th mark. So after 35, it is 36, 37, 38, 39. The minute hand points at 39th mark. It is 39 minutes. Now the hour hand points between 11 and 12. So the time is 11 hour 39 minutes. In mathematical term, it is 11.39. Now let's add the seconds hand also and read the time. In 
this clock the second hand points at 5 that is 25th mark so it is 25 seconds the minute hand points at 6 that is 30th mark so it is 30 minutes the hour hand points between 2 and 3 so it is 2 hour now the time is 2 hour 30 minutes 25 seconds shall we try another example here the second hand points at 48th mark that is 48 seconds the minute hand points at 2 that is 10th mark so it is 10 minutes the hour hand points between 12 and 1 so it is 12 hour now the time is 12 hour 10 minutes 48 seconds friends this is how we read time in an analog clock hope this video is useful to you our next video is reading time in an analog clock question and answer session wait for it thanks for watching with the next video until then bye bye